Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Early Morning Prayer for Friday, August the 7th. And we welcome you to uh, this time of prayer today. And we encourage you to invite other people share now as we prepare uh, to go before the throne of grace this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made and we rejoice and are glad in it. Thank you for allowing me to come into your space and to share uh, this time of intercession and supplication with you. Good morning, Mother Henson. Good morning, Minister Kevin Underdo. Good morning, Elder Jonathan. Good morning, Tina Maria. Good morning, Pastor Charlene. Uh, good morning, Deacon Michelle. Good morning, Evangelist Gail. Thank God for each one of you being with us uh, this morning for our time of early morning prayer. The Bible declares that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Good morning, Mother Lucy. Uh, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And we don't take any credit for our own because we are made righteous only by the shed blood of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because of his sacrifice on Calvary's cross, we are redeemed from the curse of sin and death. And we are grateful to the Lord that because of the blood covering of our Savior, uh, we can come boldly before the throne of grace and obtain help and mercy in our time of need. And so I bid grace and peace to each one of you this morning, Sister Renee Carr. Uh, Joyce Denise, good morning. I was in your neighborhood yesterday and wanted to stop by, but I just did not have any time left in uh, that hour. Uh, but we're going to stop in and pop in on you because I got a, a package that belongs to you to help you print out some things. All right. Good morning. Our ATL connection uh, on with us today. Thank God for Sister Sultana Jones, um, our gift extension in Atlanta, holding it down uh, in the ATL. Uh, we're almost at our number for the morning and we're going to go before the throne of grace. Thank God for the power and the gift of prayer this morning. Uh, the scripture tells us that Jesus rose a great while before day, that he might call in the name of the Father and pray. And in like manner, you and I, as disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, rise a great while before day, that we might call on the name of the Lord, that we might call uh, on him that hears and answers every prayer, uh, understanding uh, that the Bible says that in order to uh, call on God, we must first believe that he is, and then we must be assured uh, that he is a rewarder of those who watch it diligently seek him. Uh, with that said, uh, let's uh, prepare ourselves now uh, to go into the presence of the creator God, our eternal God, our Heavenly Father, our Holy Mother, who bids us come to cast all of our cares upon him because he cares for us. Won't you uh, reverence your heart now, even where you are, and begin to uh, honor and bless the name of God, uh, honor and bless the presence of God, to exalt God uh, with gratitude for the gift of this day, uh, for the gift of uh, him sustaining our lives. Hallelujah, 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 oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There is no shadow of turning with you. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We bless your name. We bless your name. We reverence your presence and we thank you uh, for waking us up this morning and for giving us an opportunity to come into your presence. Come on, come on, uh, join with me now and honor God right where you are. Create an atmosphere uh, for the spirit of the Lord to move uh, for you, to move in you, to move through you. Hallelujah. With uplifted hands, we come into his presence with gratitude and thanksgiving today. With, with uplifted hands, we come with adoration and appreciation. And we are praying 
together this morning. Eternal and all wise God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come into your presence today and we're so grateful to you for the blessed privilege to a call on your name while you may be found. Thank you for waking us up this morning, for starting us on our way. I thank you, O oh God, for uh, fulfilling your every promise uh, to us. For you declared that morning by morning, new mercies we see and your compassions would never fail. Great is your faithfulness. We thank you for being so very faithful to us in that you've kept us through uh, the first week of August, you kept us to see another month. You kept us uh, past the midpoint of the year and to the third quarter of the year. We thank you because you are God and God alone. You're God all by yourself. Your glory is not shared with any other. You're the one that kept us through the midnights. You're the one that kept us to see the breaking of each new day. You're the one uh, that watched over us and preserved us even in the heat of each day. I uh, thank you that this year you've kept us through uh, the global pandemic known as Corona COVID-19. And we thank you that not only did you keep us through that which we were aware of, you kept us in spite of the things that we had no knowledge of. Thank you that uh, just as our forebears testified that through danger seen and unseen, you've kept us and made a way for us. You protected us. And so we declare before your throne this morning, all the glory and honor belongs to you. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. There is no one else like you. We bless you. We magnify you. We exalt you. And we declare before your throne today and bring our sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah. Thine the glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. All the glory is yours. Hallelujah for all that you've done, for what you are doing right now, for what you have promised and purposed in your heart and mind to do. We give your name, hallelujah, praise for who you are, for who you are. We worship you because you're the righteous judge. You're the holy one. Uh, you are the one that is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Thank you. Uh, that you never, ever lie. You never transgress your promise. You never slack that which you committed to do. And we honor, honor and bless you today. We exalt you. Uh, we magnify your name today. We, we declare that you're God and God alone. And more importantly, we declare you are our God. Thank you for the gift of your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who suffered, bled, and died on Calvary's cross for our redemption redemption to pay the debt for our sin. Thank you, Lord Jesus, uh, that you thought it not robbery to lay down your life so that you might prove and demonstrate for us that greater love hath no one than one who would lay down his life for his, for life, lay down his life for his friends. And we thank you that not only did you suffer, bleed, and die, but we give your name praise and glory for your triumphant resurrection on the third day with all power in your hands, power to save, power to renew, power to transform. And we give your name, praise and glory and honor that and not only did you rise, but you sent us the gift of Holy Spirit who now rests, rules and abides with us. We thank you, Holy Spirit, even now for quickening our mortal bodies that today that we might see uh, the glory of this day, that we might receive the blessings and that we even once again, might be strengthened by you in the word uh, to meet the challenges of the day. And so thank you that you bid us come into your presence at this, this hour to seek your face and to hear and to receive your counsel. Thank you that you promised us that we could cast all of our cares on you because you care for us. There's no burden that we bear that you don't share the load. There is no task that we are assigned that you don't assist us into achieving. We thank you that you are our very present help in our time of need. You are our source and our defense in the time of trouble. Thank you that you are the shelter in the time of storm. Thank you for the covering under the shadow of your wings. Thank 
thank you for the safe place, safe in your arms, that you protect us, that you provide for us, you nourish and strengthen us. And even now, oh God, we bless you that as we come into your presence today, we experience the fullness of joy and we experience and receive pleasures at your right hand, even forevermore. We bless you today that we are reminded that your favor on our lives is for a lifetime. And so there is no weapon that's formed against us that can prosper and that every tongue that rises in judgment is now condemned. And in the holy name of Jesus, we thank you that as we come into your presence, we are made aware of the fact that in the face of your perfection, our imperfections are glaring before you. And we ask you now, oh God, to have mercy on us, to forgive us for our sin by thought, by word, and by deed. Have mercy on us and blot out our transgressions. Cleanse us of our iniquities our transgressions against your law and your will by commission and omission. We come with only one perfect plea and that was the blood of Jesus was shed for us. Wash us and make us clean. Search us and try us and everything in us that's not like you. We pray that you blot it out and lead us in the way everlasting. We pray, oh God, even now that you would move by your spirit and create in us a clean heart and renew right spirits within us. Everything in us that's not like you, we give you permission to take it out and then lead us in the way everlasting. Let Christ be formed in us now. We pray, oh God, that according to your word, that we would be made steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in your word and in your work for as much as our labor for you and in you is not in vain. We pray, oh God, now by the power of your Holy Spirit, that you would bind up those things that are not like you, our attitudes, our ways, the root of bitterness that you pull it up and that God, you would transform our attitudes, our outlooks and cause us to think about our ways and turn our path to the path of righteousness and holiness. Help us, oh God, that the things that used to tempt us won't be tempting any longer. The things uh, that entangled us, we'd be, uh, we'd be set for, we'd be set free and transformed even now by your spirit. Holy God, in the name of Jesus, fall fresh on each man, fall fresh on each woman and cause us to be found well pleasing in your sight. Our desire is for our lives to be be pleasing to you. Our desire is for you to delight in our walk and our confession to you to delight in our example and our witness in the earth realm. Our prayer today, oh God, that is that you would work so powerfully in us that men and women, boys and girls from all walks of life, men and women, boys and girls from our families, men and women, boys and girls in our communities, those who sometimes names and faces we do not know would see the Christ at work in us and follow us as we follow Christ. Have mercy on us now, oh God, cause us, cause us to live in such a way that people might draw closer to you and not be repelled from your church, not be repelled because our witness is inconsistent. Lord, breathe on us now, uh, shape us and mold us and fill us so that we might even, according to your mandate, go into all the world and proclaim the good news of the gospel so that men, women, boys and girls might be saved. Let somebody, because of our witness, because of our work, because of our testimony, overcome and receive the gift of life everlasting and life more abundantly in Christ Jesus the Lord. Even as we come before you this morning, we thank you for the blessing of being uh, engrafted into your family, adopted even now, 
that we might be your sons and your daughters. And even as we stand today in faith, as we stand today being made righteous because of the sacrificial work of Jesus Christ on Calvary's cross, we declare and decree, oh God, with your stripes, we are healed spirit, mind, and body. We declare it today that by his stripes, we are healed, spirit, mind, and body. Oh God, make us whole. God, in the name of Jesus, regenerate us from the curse of sin and death. Regenerate us because of the stain left by our iniquity. Regenerate us now in the name of Jesus. Let Christ be formed in us. Let our spirits be made a hole in your presence where we have been uh, made anxious and afraid. We pray for the power of the anointing with that would now give us courage and boldness that as we come before your throne of grace today, we might obtain help and mercy uh, for this time of need. We pray, oh God, not only would you heal us, but heal uh, the spirit of humanity now. Oh God, now move by your spirit that where uh, there is bondage, where there is addiction, where there is dysfunction. We pray, God, that you would bind those demonic spirits in the name of Jesus, cast them again to the pit of hell. We speak in authority and set ourselves in agreement with your word that whatever we bind on earth would also be bound in heaven. So we bind now every unclean spirit, spirits of addiction, spirits of confusion, spirits spirits of conversion, spirits of greed and selfishness, spirits of wickedness and evil, those spirits that bring about racism and bring about sexism and ageism, those spirits that bring about prejudice, God, in the name of Jesus, we bind them. For your word tells us that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities and powers in high places. And so we bind them now, even as we wrestle in the holy name of Jesus. We bind them now in the holy name of the Lord Jesus. And we declare that the works of darkness are brought to naught. We declare that the works of unrighteousness are brought to naught. And as we bind them, we command and cast them to the very pit of hell. And you declare that not only do we have the authority to bind, but we have the authority to loose. And so now we loose even the spirit of transformation. We loose the spirit of salvation that would capture the hearts and minds of men. We declare now in the name of Jesus that hearts of stone would be made hearts of flesh that your spirit might bring life and bring life anew, that your spirit might uh, drive out unholiness and cause holiness to become the standard by which men and women live. God, breathe on us now in the name of Jesus, and we thank you that with the stripes of the Savior, we are healed, both spirit, mind, and body. God, transform our minds, change our thinking, give us a higher level of contemplation, allow us even now now to feed on that which are your plans and your thoughts that you think toward us for you promised us in your word that your thoughts toward us are good and not evil. So we pray that your thoughts would now infiltrate and fall fresh on our minds and that our minds would become the mind of Christ so that we might see life and see the world through the lenses of our Savior now in the name of Jesus. We thank you that that which men and women saw no value in. We would see the value of your creative purpose now in the name of Jesus, that which is lacking. We declare that it would abound according to the perfect will of our Savior now in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you that, that those who have wrestled with suicide, those who have wrestled with depression and low self-esteem, even now in the name of Jesus, you would transform uh, their thought processes and they, they you, you would transform 
even, oh God, the way they see and think about themselves and they would begin to see themselves the way you see us, that you thought we were worth saving. You thought that we were worth uh, dying for you. You think even at this hour that we were worth redemption and we were worth, oh God, destiny. And we thank you now that you bind and you rebuke that which causes a spirit of fear, but you cause us to now have a sound mind that that we would have power and strength to press forward. We thank you even now for the power uh, that would transform our spirits, our minds, and our bodies. We thank you for healing. Even now, holy God, as you hold the world in your hand, release of your holy virtue, healing for all manner of sickness and disease. We release now healing uh, and deliverance for all manner of sickness and disease. We, we pray today that as you move, you would cause men and women to recover from the corona COVID-19 virus, the global pandemic. We speak healing now for those that battles uh, cancer in all forms, and we declare victory now over every cancerous cell in the name of the Lord Jesus. Touch the body temple. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Touch the body temple now and cause cancerous cells to perish and to be passed out of the body we thank you, O oh God, that as you work through medicine, that doctors will see progress and see regeneration. But we thank you even the more for miracle at this hour as you heal bodies now in the name of Jesus. We pray for those who are battling and fighting cancer, for those that are battling and fighting MS and muscular dystrophy. We pray for those that are battling and fighting lupus and Lou Gehrig's disease. We pray for pray against every neurological disorder and dysfunction. We pray against every muscular disorder and dysfunction. We pray against every cardiological disorder and dysfunction now in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you restore function to lungs and we bind uh, the disease of COPD. We, we bind asthma now in the name of Jesus. We come against bronchial dysfunction and disorder now in the name of Jesus. Move by your spirit, Holy Ghost of God. Thank you that you are the God of all flesh and there's nothing too hard for you. Even the things that the doctor says are terminal, we declare declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that it is an opportunity for your for you to sell yourself mighty and strong on behalf of your people. We come against heart attacks and strokes now. We come, come against cerebral infarctions now and TIAs in the name of Jesus. Touch your sons and your daughters now. Heal, deliver, and set free, not only from that which is diagnosed, but that from those things that have yet to be discovered. Go ahead even now of that which the enemy has intended. And we pray, oh God, that you would interrupt the, the satanic strategy and you would perform a miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Dissolve that blood cot now in the name of Jesus. Restore that circulation now in the name of Jesus. Move by your spirit now, God. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you touch that woman. And even as she feels the warming sensation in her body now, it is you restoring and regenerating and causing circulation issues to now, oh God, be dissipated. And we thank you that you restored the temple, oh God, to your divine function according to your divine design now in the name of Jesus. Touch your son and let him deep breathe deeply now, even as you restore, even as you open up uh, those those chambers, you opening up those, 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 those tubes now and cause, oh God, the breathing function to be restored. We thank you now, holy God, that you touch us and you meet us at our very point of need. Thank you for with the stripes of our Savior, we are healed mind, body, and spirit. Thank you now that you restored the temple that we might serve you. Even, oh God, as we come today and our focus in prayer is to pray for leaders across the land, we pray, oh God, that you would bless the body of Christ 
that we might be raised as leaders in this hour to lead all of humanity to a place of reconciliation to you, that we might receive restoration that can only come from your hand. For you promised us in your word that if your people who are called by your name will would humble ourselves and pray, seek your face and turn from our wicked ways, you would hear from heaven and heal the land. And so we come today confessing your word before your throne and declaring our every expectation that you would hear our prayer. We come today calling on your name because we are called by your name. We are God, your church. We are God, your disciples. And we come calling on your name. We come seeking your face for your direction. We come seeking uh, for your, your divine counsel and your wisdom, even as we engage of all of the circumstances of this present hour. We turn Turn from our wicked ways. We declare, O oh God, that we have gone our own way and we repent, O oh God, of our decision and ask you now that from your holy mountain that you would send the healing and send the power of atoning of the atoning blood of Jesus. And even as you hear us atone from our sin, we pray for healing in the land. We pray, O oh God, that you would raise the body of Christ, your church around the globe as a leader so that men and women, boys and girls might be reconciled and joined to you now in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray, oh God, for every bishop and we pray, oh God, for every apostle. We pray for every senior pastor. We pray for every pastor and pastoral staff member. We pray for every evangelist, for every minister, for every minister in training. We pray for every deacon, for every trustee, for every steward now in the holy name of Jesus. We pray for every auxiliary president. We pray for every chairman, for every chairwoman, for every chairperson. We pray for every lay leader. We pray for every section leader. We pray for every committee chairperson. We pray for everyone designated for service. For you declared in your word that the greatest among us would be servants. And so we pray, oh God, that as we lift men and women and young people before you who serve at respective, at their, in their respective tiers of service in the kingdom now. We pray that you would fortify us. We pray, God, that you would build us up, that you would nourish us in your word, that you would refresh your anointing on our lives, that our service would be without prejudice, that God, even as we embrace men and women from all walks of life, we would serve even as Christ has given his all for the church. Oh God, we pray, God, for love that is unfettered and uncompromised. We pray, God, now for a kind of commitment and diligence that would prioritize your kingdom. For you promised us in your word that if we would seek your kingdom and its righteousness, all the other things would be added unto us. So we pray, oh God, that even as you fortify us, you would give us clear focus and clear articulation of the prioritization of your kingdom, of your kingdom values, of your kingdom principles, and your kingdom agenda. We pray, God, now that you would move by your spirit in such a way that we would focus on those things that bring us into harmony and unity and we would set aside the weights that divide and distract, that we would set aside the weights that distress and depress, but cause us, oh God, to allow the standard of your love, your grace and your mercy to ever go before us. Even now, God, in the name of Jesus, allow your spirit to move and cause cleansing and purging to begin at your house. We thank you that you promised us in your word that judgment would begin in the house of God. Set your house in order. Set the body of Christ upright that we might be ready to receive our bridegroom. Move by your spirit that the leadership, that mantle that you have placed on your church, on your bride would be so fully actuated that we would bring forth and usher in your kingdom and that the kingdom of this world would become the kingdom of our 
our Christ. We thank you even now that you're moving to sustain and strengthen, to set up and set forth your model of leadership in the earth. And you're doing it through your people. You're doing it through your church. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God, rearrange us. God, organize us. Purge us and clarify us. Strengthen us so that we might have the attitude of Christ, that we might live with gratitude in the earth, that we might live with the spirit of abundance and sharing that none would lack. We thank you that even now as you strengthen bishops and pastors and ministers and leaders, one in all, that the needs of your people are being met. The hungry are fed and the homeless are sheltered. We thank you that none will be naked and every need will be met. We thank you that in every family there is promotion and that which has been in debt, debt is now canceled. We speak, oh God, the abundance of heaven and the abundance of the kingdom to shower down in the earth realm now. God, break the back of greed in the land. Land. Break, break the back of selfishness in the land. We bind the works of wickedness. We come against the works and the words of the witch and the warlock. We declare that every satanic strategy and every demonic device is brought to naught. We release the power of your anointing and we declare that the yokes of bondage are destroyed. We declare that shackles fall from the, the limbs of your sons and your daughters from men and women in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We decree that scales fall from the eyes of men and women. Open the eyes that men and women might see your hand at work in the earth, that the men and women might see and the deception of the enemy be exposed. We declare, God, from the highest purchase of influence and leadership, from the highest purchase of power, that even now, God, you would expose the true face of those that serve, those that occupy spaces. Expose, oh God, now. Cause the kingdom of this world to crumble a little more in every hour. Cause men and women to exercise, oh God, in the true revelation that you give as you cause it to be exposed now in the name of Jesus. We pray for every leader. We pray, I pray for the leaders that join with me in prayer today, that as we we lead in intercession and supplication, oh God, that you would release an anointing in the earth that would cause men and women to stand fast in the liberty that wherewith Christ we have been made free. Cause us not to turn back. Cause us never to be entangled again or with the yokes of bondage. We rebuke the hand of the enemy now and we declare liberty and freedom in our families. We declare liberty and freedom uh, from generations generational iniquity from generational disease, from generational dysfunction now in the name of Jesus. We declare freedom from even generational bondage for we speak your word over each family that the one whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Open the door now. Set, oh God, that which one was captive free now in the name of Jesus. We declare that that work, good work that you have begun, you will perform until it is completed and until Christ our Savior returns. Oh God, move now by your spirit. We bless and magnify. We exalt and reverence your name for we know that your eyes are moving to and fro across the earth and you are meeting the needs of your people now in the name of Jesus. Thank you that you are meeting the need and debt is being canceled. The door of opportunity is being opened. We pray now and speak life to every circumstance. Revive and refresh and renew your son. Cause him to stand, oh God, with the resurgence of your purpose and your unction from your spirit as he goes forward. Bless the business venture now in the name of Jesus. God, give him clear understanding. We pray for your sons now that wrestle with relationships. God, show him the wife that you've chosen. Show him the partner that you have chosen. Open the door. Give the resources. Set it up even as you have given his dream and vision in our heart. God, even now, reach for your daughter. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit of God, give her an unction and embolden her for your purpose now. Allow her to know 
know that the pieces have not crumbled, but that the pieces are coming together according to your divine configuration. Holy Spirit, move now like a rushing mighty wind and cause a leader now to reclaim his unction, reclaim his strength. God, we cause him now to reclaim his vision that he might stand even in this season. I speak a word of feasting in the face of famine. When it appeared that all has been lost, God, we thank you that while it may appear to be lost in the natural, thank you that in the supernatural, you open his eyes now to see that he is surrounded with support, surrounded with resources. Bless that ministry now in the name of Jesus. Cause that woman who has been standing on the wall now to receive, oh God, the support that comes as a result of the seed that that she has sown for many years. We bless you for the holy harvest that abounds even on this seventh day. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rebuke the hand of the enemy. Close the mouth of the lion now. Give the lion locked jaw, even as she stands now and emerges victorious. We thank you for your hand that's moving in the political arena now. And you are raising up leaders that lead us into the next level of manifestation according to your promise. Thank you, oh God, that the one that was thought to be last is now the front runner. We thank you for a shifting in the atmosphere. We thank you for a shifting forward of your purpose. Thank Thank you even now that that which we've never seen before, that which we have never heard before, that which we have never imagined and thought of, you now present before us so that we might stand in awe of your power. We might stand in awe of your faithfulness to perform your purpose in the earth realm. Work all things together for good because we love you and because we are called according to your eternal purpose. I thank you for open doors today. I thank you for open doors today. Thank you for open doors today. Thank you for that which you were doing for us that we cannot do for ourselves. Thank you for causing names to be spoken in arenas that they thought they would never have access to. Thank you for what you're doing for your sons and your daughters because you make us leaders in the earth realm. We bless you, holy God, now in the name of Jesus. I set myself in agreement that you would bless leaders across the land. And so I pray for pastors, pastors whose names that I know, and I pray, Holy Spirit, now that you would call even those whose names I am to call for to my memory now. I call the name of Bishop John Richard Bryant before you, the name of Reverend Dr. Cecilia Williams Bryant. I call the name of Bishop Frank Madison Reed the third of Episcopal Supervisor Marla Mashon Hall Reed before you. I call the name of Bishop Donald Hilliard Jr. and Pastor Phyllis Thompson Hilliard before you now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for Bishop Hollister Curtis Douglas and for Lady Yolanda Douglas now in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus for every CFA bishop, for Bishop Jeffrey Williams, for Bishop Loretta Smith John for Bishop Emmanuel Coleman, for Bishop D Daniel Josephus Richardson. I pray for Bishop elect uh, Patricio Wilson. I call their names before you. I lift their spouses before you now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for Pastor Paulette Bostic in the name of Jesus. I pray for Bishop Designate Lisa Wea. I pray for Dr. Lewis Tate. I pray for for Pastor Grant Thompson. I pray for Pastor Harold Hayes. I pray for Pastor Marvin McCoy. I pray for Pastor Tony Boone. I lift them before you now in the holy name of Jesus. God, pour out of from your holy mountain oil and anointing. I pray for my sons and daughters and ministry, for those that serve as senior shepherds now. Pour out fresh oil and extend the mantle now. God, in the name of Jesus, 
amplify your purpose in the earth realm. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Pastor Michael Leach today. I pray for Pastor Danielle Brown today. I pray God for our pastoral staff at the de- at the gift. I pray for co-pastor Lisa Maria Clark Harvin. I pray for Pastor Demetria Danielle Brown. I pray for Overseer Dorothy Annette Walker. I pray for Overseer Charles Curtis. I pray for Pastor Kevin Jennings. I pray for Pastor Charlene Preston Bennett. I lift, oh God, our pastoral tear before you now in the name of Jesus. For every elder, we call the name of elders, not only in our ministry, but elders across the land. I pray for Bishop Darrell Pulley. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for Bishop Bernard Hector. I pray now in the name of Jesus that you would look on Bishop Curry Surratt. Look on Bishop Jesse Delano Ellis now in the name of Jesus. Look on senior leaders across the land. Refresh, restore, and preserve. Oh God, your kingdom come. Your will be done. I pray for churches across the land. I pray for Bishop Kevin Gresham. I call before you even now the name of Dr. Anthony Moore. I thank you, Lord, for the name, for the life, and the ministry of Pastor John Jenkins. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would continue to send oil. God, galvanize your church. I call the name of Pastor Anthony Macklin before you now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, bless your sons. Look on your daughters now. Look on your daughters now in the name of Jesus. I pray pray even now for Pastor Jasmine Skurlock, and I thank you for what you're doing in her life and her ministry. I pray, God, as you move by your spirit, you would elevate and God, you would amplify. God, synergize your kingdom now. Synergize your leaders on earth now that your kingdom might come with forth for your word declares that the kingdom suffers violence and the violent take it by force. We thank you for the force of your kingdom now. Make us a force of your kingdom at this hour now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Release the legions of angels and assign them, oh God, on our behalf and we go forth now. We go forth now in the name of Jesus with the compelling unction of your spirit and we declare victory won. We declare victory won in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you for Pastor Rebecca Hallelujah for Pastor Rebecca Wright and Pastor James Irving in the name of Jesus. Look on their lives. Fortify them now. Heal and make strong. Give clear vision as only you can now in the name of Jesus. We bless you. We bless you for what you're doing. We bless you for what you're doing. Cover each leader even as their names have been called, as their names rest upon the hearts of your sons and your daughters. We bless you for this opportunity of prayer and for the names that we don't know to call. You know, oh God, where the power of the anointing of this prayer needs to land. Let it fall on fertile ground and let the harvest be undeniable. We thank you for it now. We bless you that you hear and answer every prayer. We thank you for the blessing that we receive in this moment, for the blessing that each of us receive in this moment because you promise you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. And we thank you for the rewards that we can imagine. We thank you for the rewards that we knew to ask for. We thank you for the rewards that we anticipate and expect. But we thank you even for the more for those things that we could never imagine, expect, ask for, or think or conceive. But you deliver and release into our lives because every good and perfect gift comes from you. We receive it today with gratitude in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we declare before your throne, we will not be weary in well-doing, but we know we shall reap because we faint not. We will not faint because you are our strength. You are the strength of our lives. We pray today in the holy and the powerful, the unchanging, the unconquerable name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your only begotten son, our savior, our Lord. 
And together we all say, amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Come on, clap your hands right where you are. Clap your hands and tell the Lord, thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for abiding with us as we journey down the prayer lane today. Amen. And now that you've clapped your hands and you've rejoiced right there, now you can put it on the screen. Put some, put that, those, that clapping hands right there in your comment line if you need to, but at least say amen. So we agree. Let's let the devil know we agree in prayer that that which we've asked of the Lord, the Lord performs. The Bible says uh, where two or three agree on earth, God delivers from heaven. And I want you to know there's an exchange. There's an exchange uh, between heaven and earth right now in this moment. We give him our request and he releases to us that which he has promised and I want you to know, I want you to, I hear, I hear the Lord and I'm thanking him for the answer to a prayer that I didn't even utter and that there is rest for the weary. There's rest. There's rest for the weary. There is rest for the weary. weary. I want you to find rest today in the arms of God. Rest in his presence. Rest in his presence. Rest in his presence. Rest in his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Carmelita, good to see you. I'm praying for your pastor today, my friend, and for the work that's being done at our home church. Thank the Lord uh, for Pastor Dr. Claiborne and for Lady uh, Pastor Claiborne. Uh, thank God for her and for the work that God's going to do and continue to do uh, there. Thank God for each one of you. Uh, it is it is a it is a peculiar morning. Uh, the Lord uh, the Lord woke me up at 4 a.m. and uh, and told me to be at peace. And so I'm at peace. Uh, and, and I'm going to rest in his presence and watch what God does uh, for you and for me, for us uh, in these next few days. I want you to know there's a wave and a move of God coming for you and for me. And it's coming in these next few days. I can't explain it. I can't articulate it at this point. Uh, but I want you to know rest in his presence, rest in his presence. I have an urgent need and burden uh, to pray for leaders that God would fortify, God would fortify and strengthen, that God would uh, give us extra bolstering uh, right along in here, because uh, there's a great move of God coming for you, for me, a great move of God coming for us. And uh, the question isn't, whether or not the move will be great. The question is whether we'll be able to handle it. Make sure that everything God has required of you, the things the Holy Spirit has whispered to you, he has not proclaimed it from the rooftop. It has not come across uh, the digital divide, but God has been whispering it to you. Uh, maybe as you stood at the sink washing dishes, uh, stood at the table folding clothes, um, you were going up and down the steps and the Lord was whispering some things, you know, you need to do this. You need to do this. You know, you need to work on this. You know, you, you need to pay attention to that. You know, you need, you know, you need to make that phone call. Uh, you know, you need to write that letter. Whatever it is, I, I, can't, I, I can't, I can't quantify that for you, but whatever it is, the Lord has been whispering to you that you know how you sometimes say that something told me that something that told you that's the thing you need to work on because that way you'll be ready and your infrastructure will be solid so when the move comes uh, the fabric of that mantle will fall effortlessly on the frame of your face and uh, that's the best way i can explain it that the lord keeps giving me this illustration that uh, that, that his move is like fabric that is about to be cast and the way that it unfurls is dependent upon the frame that it falls on our faith is that frame and when the fabric falls on it, it will fall effortlessly and gracefully in place if we've been obedient in the small things diligent in the small things and god and, and the things that god is speaking in this hour will not always come from this digital platform. It won't always come from the mountain. Sometimes God has to speak to you specifically and whisper in your ear for thank you, Holy Spirit, uh, for 
for, for several of you right now, uh, it is knowing that after I'm finished talking and praying, praying and talking, and I'm getting ready to sign off, you still have time with the Lord. And he's been trying to get your attention all week long. Step away, step away. And then to be six o'clock in the morning, it might be two o'clock in the afternoon, but when you step away, you, you, you withdraw and it's just you and him. And you allow your heart to pour out, flowing out of my heart of the issues of my heart. But you allow that to pour out. But remember, prayer is a dialogue. And after you've poured out to him, then allow him to pour into you. After you pour out to him, empty yourself. This is what I'm, this is where I'm hurting. This is what I'm stressed about. This is what I'm concerned about. These are my questions. Don't just get them down that you didn't pour it out. You feel better. Now you want to go running on what you think is the agenda. No, no, no. Sit long enough in that hour that after you've poured out, let God reciprocate and pour in. Pour in. Pour in. Pour into me. Pour into me. Pour into me. Because when God pours into you, I'm here to tell you, there's nothing the enemy can tear out of you or strip from you. Because every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. I want you to know God is faithful. And he has heard our prayers today. Go into the, go into the rest in him. 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 And people ask you, what's that grin on your face for? <sighs> this is how I look when I'm resting in my God. I'm resting in him. God bless you. It's been my joy to share with you today. Thank you for allowing me to pray with you this morning. Have a great day. Grace and peace be to you.